This is a Storm Track 12 severe weather alert. All right, let's take a look. We've still got those winter weather advisories and warnings that are in effect for us here because of the accumulating snow, the ice, the sleet and the freezing rain. That's going to continue all the way through until about sunrise tomorrow morning. North uh, Northern Craven County all the way up north of Highway 264. I think that's the best chance of seeing some decent accumulating snow for us here. Down East Carteret County, we are going to be looking at the very end of this as this system kind of tails off some skiffs of snow getting into our neighborhood here. And you'll notice as far as the model showing that output, we really could see a 10 or 15 mile difference of anywhere between, say, uh, an inch to two inches of snow, just depending on where exactly we see this rain snow line set up for us here. But again, you're looking the north of Highway 264 or 3 to as much as maybe six inches of snow, especially the further north and west that you go. In between, though, it's that ice, and that's the thing we are most concerned about for us here. We could be looking at a historic icing event for us here in parts of Onslow, Jones, uh, Pamlico, and southern Craven County if this truly does start to come to fruition for us here. And you'll notice that the model's really picking up on that corridor right there, uh, potentially as much as a quarter to a half inch of ice accumulation. And as a result, that's with the a little bit of wind is going to start to cause some issues there as far as the power lines are concerned. Outside right now, the exception right along the coastal areas here. And again, Ocracoke Cataris, this isn't really going to be a big deal for us, but the inner banks and the deeper inland spots, we are all below that freezing mark being driven in here by those north northeasterly winds. What we're watching for is an area of low pressure to develop off of the Georgia. Um, Florida coast and that's going to kind of ride up along the Gulf streams here. But as it does, that's going to start to throw that moisture back in here. So you'll notice that we start off with that light shower action along the coastal areas. But as that low deepens, that moisture gets pushed back in over that dome of cold air that is set up here. And, and you notice the further inland you go, you start to see that ice change to snow as those northerly winds continue to drag that colder air into this system. Now, as the low comes up along the coast, we will watch that start to tail off and we'll see the snow retreat off of the coast by sunrise tomorrow morning. But basically sunset tonight to about sunrise tomorrow morning. That's when we're going to be at the best chance of accumulating snow around here. Whatever doesn't melt or evaporate tomorrow is going to be a hard refreeze as we go into tomorrow night with those temperatures into the teens over some of that fresh snowpack early on Sunday morning. And then eventually by mid morning, we see those temperatures with sunshine get above that freezing mark for us as we head through Sunday. So weather alert day still in effect for us tomorrow. Hard freeze tomorrow night. And then by the time we hit midday on Sunday, we're above freezing and should get a chance to thaw out at least through the daylight hours here over the next couple days with that sunshine.